Hi, kids. It's Graham. It's Graham. I read to you once today, and I'm going to read to you again because I got piles of books everywhere, and I'm trying to make those piles go away so the house looks neater and, and tidier, and I can return all the books I borrowed from people. So I'm working through these piles, and I think you have this book, and I might even have this book, but somebody, a friend lent me this book, Marsha. And I thought, I'll read it to you. If you want to listen to it one day, it's called The Truck Book. You can. And if you don't, you don't have to. That's the beauty of this. And you know what? I won't even know if you ever read it or not. So I won't even, my feelings won't be hurt. But I'll just read it. And then when I'm done, I put it in Marsha's bag. And next time I see Marsha, I give her back her bag. And I say, thank you for lending me these books. Who likes trucks? Up. Uh, I just saw Poppy drive by. I wonder if he's going to pop into our reading. I hope he's not cranky. The garage door broke today. Do you want to tell him for me? He's not going to be happy. All right. This is called the truck book. And what kind of truck is that? That's a big one. What's it called? A, a tractor trailer truck? Wow. Wow. Those are a lot of trucks. Trucks do important work, but they are fun to look at too. Some of the early trucks were especially fun to see. One milk truck looked like a giant milk bottle. Its shape told people what kind of work it did. Where's the giant milk bottle? Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it up there. What's this? That's a hot dog. That's like a Wienermobile. Look at all the different trucks. If you have this book, you could go get it and then you could read it. You could look at it while Graham's reading it to you. Ooh, what's that? That's hauling a lot of cars, right? That's a tractor trailer hauling new pickup trucks. Look at that. If Poppy ever gets a new pickup truck, then maybe it will be on that truck. Trucks go everywhere and do all kinds of work. They help people clean the streets and put out fires. Most trucks are built to carry heavy loads. Some are so big, they can even carry other trucks. Ooh, construction vehicles. And this sort of looks like a farm tractor or little gator. Some trucks can go where there are no paved roads. An off-highway dump truck travels on dirt roads or rough fields. Specially built trucks are needed to lift and move heavy things. The back of a dump truck tilts to let its load slide out. Cranes have a long arm called a boom that can lift heavy loads. A forklift truck has weights at the back so if you pick up heavy things, so you can pick up heavy things without tipping over. Forklift truck. Trucks move tons of earth to make a new road. A backhoe digs, lifts, and dumps loads of dirt. A tractor hands the dirt away, hauls the dirt away. Graham cannot see for some reason right now. A grader makes the roadbed smooth by dragging a blade along the ground. Other trucks help by filling holes and smoothing out bumps. And there you have an elevating scraper, a grater, and a payloader. Trucks come in all shapes and sizes. Big sanitation trucks haul garbage away. Huge moving vans can carry people's furniture to fill a house. People selling hot dogs push small hand trucks along the street. Ooh, what kind of truck is that? Ice cream, wouldn't that be fun if they came to our house now? It's so hot out, we could eat an ice cream. That would be good. Oh, Levi, look at that page. In the forest, logging trucks can quickly do jobs that once took lumberjacks many days of work. A log feller grabs a tree with its long arm. In just a few seconds, its powerful blades cut right through the tree trunk. After the trees have been cut down, a grapple skitter gathers them up with its claw. 
Then it drags them to the loading area. A big loader, oh, a log loader picks up logs and stacks them on a truck. A big tractor trailer carries the logs to the lumber mill where they will be cut into boards. I think it's kind of dark in here for Graham and that's why she's having, that's why I'm having trouble seeing the words. Wow, look at all those things. What's that one, that blue and white one? Oh, it says fire, what does it say? A oh, refrigerated service. I think it's pretty colors. Special trucks do other special jobs. Some trucks tow broken down cars or heavy machines. Refrigerated trucks take food to stores and restaurants. A cherry picker lifts workers up high so they can work on wires and lights above the street. Where's the cherry picker? Well, there it is, right? That's that. Ooh, that looks like fun. Some people go on vacation in one of these things called a camper. There are trucks built for people to live in, at least when they go on vacation. They drive from place to place and stop at campgrounds. At night, they sleep inside their camper trucks. Some small trailers have tents attached to them. Other campers are vans. Their roofs lift up, lift up so that people can walk around the inside. Most big motor homes have their own bathrooms and kitchens. I think that would be a fun way to take a vacation. What do you think? Get in one of those big things like this, the campers, and drive around and stop. I, and would we camp? Mm, maybe we just sleep inside the camper. Grim's not much for camping outside. But I think you said you and Daddy were going to do it. Levi, maybe Lila too. That could be fun. And everyone should try camping. When the fire station is quiet, firefighters clean the trucks and check on ladders and hoses. Then when there is a fire, the trucks are ready to go. Sirens scream, bells ring, and lights flash telling people on the street to move out of the way. The hook and ladder truck helps the fire helps the firefighters reach the top floors of tall buildings. The pumper sends water through the hoses to put out the fires. A new building is going up. Cranes lift beams and pipes, batches of concrete and sections of walls to the top floors of the new building. That's a lot of construction. This truck mixes water, clay, limestone, and gravel to make concrete. The concrete comes out of a chute at the back of the truck. I was gonna say cement. Is there a difference between cement and concrete? There probably is, but Graham doesn't know what it is. You have to ask Daddy. Concrete is used to make sidewalks, floors, and foundations for buildings. Concrete. Oh, wow. Buses carry people to stores, schools, offices, and factories. Look at all those buses. Some cities like London and New York have double-decker buses. That means there's two parts. You could sit way up high or you sit down here. It's fun to ride upstairs. Yellow school buses have special signal signs that go on whenever the bus stops. These lights tell other drivers to stop until the children have crossed the street safely. Ooh, that's a good page. I see it. Farm tractor. Trucks carry books. Trucks carry bottles. Trucks cut holes in city streets so workers can fix things underground. Some trucks dig holes in the ground and put telephone poles in place. Other trucks help repair holes in the road. Tractors pull plows in farm fields. Special trucks drive on railroad tracks. That's so many different kinds of trucks doing so much different work. Very important. Everywhere you go, trucks are hard at work and they are fun to look at. Who's that little person looking at the truck? That's a straddle carrier. Straddle carrier? Never heard of that. Who's that? Is that, is that Levi? Maybe, maybe it's just 
a little boy who's raking leaves and looking at the straddle carrier. The end. The truck book. Look, the front cover and the back cover have the same picture. Right? Right. All right. That was a great book, and that's going back in Marsha's bag so that she can save it for her grandchildren because she has a grandson and a granddaughter just like me. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.